What's up Giant Slayers? In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my experience rolling with world champ Cyborg Abru. Um, he had stopped by our gym here in Hawaii um, about a year ago, back in October 2019. Um, he and his fiance, uh, wife, depending on when you're watching this, uh, Maggie had stopped by our gym. Uh, Maggie actually started training with us at KT Martial Arts here in Hawaii. Uh, she had stopped by. She used to be one of my um, closest training partners and she's still a really good friend to this day uh, but they had stopped by and I was super stoked to be able to get a, a chance to roll uh, with her and also of course uh, uh, Cyborg being a world champ and all I always uh, you know doing jiu-jitsu for 13 years now I had always wondered what it'd be like to roll against the world champ and this is my first experience and so I wanted to share it with you guys uh, so let's dive right in all right, you guys, so prior to me rolling with him, I had a chance to kind of watch him roll with some of my training partners and my instructor and just watch um, how he was playing that night. And um, Cyborg was really um, playing a top game. Uh, he was real heavy on top, but he's also, um, you know, floating and just kind of going for really smooth guard passes. And so um, my strategy in my head before rolling with him was I'm going to try and play top, but, you know, he, he wasn't really having none of that. He was forcing me to play bottom. But right here I was... Um, you know, trying to be aggressive, trying to do my best to take the fight to him. Everybody else was real intimidated of him, and, you know, obviously we all have reason to be, but um, uh, I wanted to try and, you know, uh, earn my respect, and so I went for a takedown there, a uh, little single, um, ended up doing a Granby roll, and here I'm in the guard. Um, and this is kind of my uh, first experience with him just grabbing me, and uh, his grips were just insanely strong. I was trying to grab his arm right there to go for a reverse arm lock, possibly, but I like barely even budged his arm. Um, went for a nice back step pass right here, and I kind of rolled out. I was just really trying hard to expend um, my energy or just blow my wad to preserve my guard. I really didn't want him to pass. I saw him pass, um, you know, all my training partners' uh, guards really quickly. So um, I just was trying to do my best to avoid the guard pass. Um, right here, I didn't want to uh, go flat on my back. I kind of preferred to come up to one knee uh, just so I didn't want him to have all the gravity on his side and the weight to, um, you know, just smash past me. So I decided to start on one knee and then eventually ended up pulling single leg X guard here. Um, just kind of looking to off balance him a little bit. His base is just ridiculous. Right here, he's going for a collar tie with his right hand. And I was like, oh my goodness, this guy is so strong. Um, you know, not to throw shade at um, any of my training partners and instructors. You know, I have some really high quality training partners out here in Hawaii, but um, I never rolled with somebody who had the combination of strength, power, speed, agility, and technique, um, and also timing. His timing was really, really good, really smooth. Um, but right here, I'm just trying to get underneath him a little bit, get something going. I, I really couldn't move. I wasn't trying to stall or anything like that, but... Uh, he was just so heavy and his base was so good that, you know, I kind of chuckled right there because I'm like, I, I can't do anything right now. Um, but looking for him to move so I can kind of find an opening. Again, I'm looking to just get something going with single leg X just to try and off balance him. Uh, he has nice control over my feet right now, which I didn't like. Uh, so I was trying to use my bottom leg right there to off balance him. Uh, right there, I see he kind of dove in for a pass. He gave me a nice little headbutt. I remember having a bloody lip when I was done, uh, which was awesome. I uh, love the battle scars from, from getting to roll with him. Uh, but right here, he's um, trapping my top leg, and he's about to uh, go for mount, it looked like. Um, I was able to recover a half guard, but I believe he gets to mount uh, or side control first. Uh, and if I remember correctly, he's going to end up mounting me here. Um, but just so strong, I was already gassed at this point, um, just trying to not get submitted and waiting for the round to end. Uh, we went... Uh, four or five minute rounds I believe um, but right here turning to my side um, he's kind of playing around with my top leg I think he was baiting me a little bit um, but he was doing this really nice um, mount technique where he was actually controlling the bottom leg oh here he goes right there trapping that bottom leg and using that to step over that was beautiful he was doing that to everybody I'm definitely going to add that to my game and right here his timing is in display um, you saw I tried to uh, elbow escape and get guard back and it was almost like he by the time I elbow escaped he knew it was already coming he had disappeared and he wasn't there anymore uh, ends up mounting me again and um, right here I'm just trying to uh, uncross his feet to get out of his mount but I think the round's gonna end soon uh, here we go turning to my side and there you go the round ended so 
Um, anyway, you guys, I just wanted to share that experience with you. Um, you know, I felt decent about my performance. I don't know how well or how uh, hard he was going, rather. I felt like he was going uh, decently hard. Maybe he was only going 25%. I have no idea. Uh, but bottom line is, you guys, it lived up to the hype. I had a lot of fun. I learned a lot. Um, I got to just feel and experience, um, you know, somebody at the highest level in, the, in our sport, in our game, and um, just watch him, how fluid he was. But not only that, just watch how he carried himself, you know, true professional, one of the nicest guys I've ever met, um, uh, not only in jiu-jitsu, but, but in life. He had spent some time with uh, me and some of our other guys after class, just really pouring into us, and uh, I appreciated that. And I uh, can't wait to get to roll with him again. I just remember after I was done, after that one round, I felt like I rolled uh, for an hour. I was so gassed, and uh, he was super strong. But anyways, I know I have a little bit of a you know, man crush, I guess, because he's cyborg and all. But um, I just wanted to share this video with you guys to kind of let you know my experience rolling with the world champ, being out here in Hawaii. Um, don't always have the opportunity to do so, and so super fortunate. And, um, yeah, let me know in the comments, you guys, how I did or – you know, your experience rolling with world champs. And um, again, not trying to toot my own horn. That's not what this video is about. Just really trying to share my experience with you guys and, and really just share my passion and enthusiasm for that experience. But um, again, super thankful for Cyborg and for Maggie for stopping by. Um, and that's it for today's video, you guys. If you guys like today's video, be sure to give that like button a slap and a fist bump. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, I do weekly videos on how to survive and thrive against the biggest guys in your gym. Uh, hit that notification bell so you stay in the loop choke and you don't miss out on weekly videos. And I'll see you in the next video, guys.